Hello STEM enthusiasts! Summer is here! We're sure you're ready for a very well-deserved summer break. Now before you go, one last episode of Scientix TV. Okay. Following the very successful 2023 STEM Discovery campaign, the winners of the competitions came to Brussels for the 40th Science Projects Workshop in the Future Classroom Lab. This year, organized by Make It Open in collaboration with Scientix, Intel, Train Technologies, Qualcomm, the SEER, and the STEM Alliance. The teachers learned about different projects and initiatives and activities, and a group of them really enjoyed the Life Terra project. Good morning, dear students. Good morning, Good morning teacher. teacher. <laughs> Irene, please be quiet. I'm sorry. So, let's remember what we were discussing yesterday. We were talking about the Terra Mission Educational Pack. There are, remember, okay, lessons about climate change, circular economy, water, waste, air, and trees. And each lesson targets two different age groups. One for the 8 to 10 year old, and the other one from 11 to 14 year old students. Okay, so we will start with Irene. Sure. Irene, can you please describe us the structure of these lessons? I love the structure of the lessons. Introduction was the very first step. Instructions along with the workshop activity followed that totally sparkled my engagement. There were also practical assignments such as quizzes, tests, and uh, also the closing included outdoor activities, a wrap-up activity outside in the nature. Can you imagine that? Amazing! Excellent, dear Irene, excellent! Thank you so much, my dearest teacher. So, Slavica, it's your turn now. Yes. Can you please tell us what activities or games we can use in this Terra Educational Park. In this Terra Mission Park, we and also you can find activities, materials or games like filling blanks, drag and drop, crosswords, polls, multiple choice questions, quizzes, videos, describing images, and so on. With these materials and tools, learning becomes fun. Bravo, Slavica, bravo. Yes. So, the last one is Stella. Stella, can you please tell us what skills and competencies we can develop by implementing these educational packs in our classrooms? These lesson packs is a pathway to improve our students' skills. First of all, these activities can improve digital skills. Some questions also help in improving our students' critical thinking skills. And of course, we can improve collaboration and cooperation since there are a lot of teamwork activities. Now, as teachers, we can improve our um, creativity and innovation because we can make changes to these lesson plans and activities based on our students' needs. Bravo! So, my dear students, you have fully understood our lesson. Terra Mission is our mission! Life Terra is such a cool and valuable project for students and the planet. So make sure to register in the Life Terra MOOC starting again on the 11th of September. Now, the participants will explore the Terra Mission educational resources and learn about outdoor experiences and practical assignments. The MOOC will also guide teachers through creating your own learning scenarios based on the Terra Mission educational pack. So before you close your laptop for the summer, make sure to sign up. Discussions and networking between experts, industry, and policymakers are at the heart of the School Innovation Forum that European Schoolnet organized last month. Scientix went there to talk to the STEM Alliance partners and see what they had to say about the School Innovation Forum and the importance of attending these type of events. 
uh, Microsoft has a very high focus on education. So we have uh, uh, special tools for, for education. So for us, it makes all sense to be here, to hear from uh, ministers of education, to hear from researchers, and also to hear from our peers in the industry, uh, also to, so that together we can make this, I would say, better space uh, and, and improve together the way we, we do uh, work. So from my point of view, coming to these uh, meetings or these fora allows me to see what the thinking is, mostly from uh, academia to see what their thinking is, and also from the European Commission to see what their thinking is. Where are we going? What's the direction we should be heading in? And is it the right direction? At the School Innovation Forum event, we have the, the occasion to meet stakeholders in the entire ecosystem and also think about uh, opportunities, trends, but also understand problems and barriers. For us, it's really the opportunity to connect with uh, policymakers, industry partners, uh, subject matter experts and teachers, and exchange ideas about uh, innovative projects to fuel you know, school teaching and student learning. This is one of the most important educational events in Europe. For us, it's a fantastic opportunity to gain uh, insights from different uh, European educational stakeholders. And it also presents for us opportunity for new collaboration and to establish new relationships. It's absolutely critical to have the School Innovation Forum to bring together industry, government, and non-governmental organizations to come together to invest uh, in the future of the children of Europe. This year, the School Innovation Forum put the spotlight on artificial intelligence in education. Scientix TV is going to dedicate a special episode in the fall to the topic. We want to hear from you. Let us know what you would like us to address in the comments. In my time as an astrophysicist, we had these discussions on how to launch a rocket to space. We had to discuss what was required and what was too much, how to reduce their weight, how to make sure they could fly. Today's experiment by Isidora helps illustrate this story. Hello and welcome everyone to Science in Action. My name is Isidora and today I will show you how to make a rocket with unexpected household items. So, what you will need, bunch of tea, tea bags, you need a plate, a lighter, of course, goggles, and a small glass where you will take out the contents of the tea bags. So we'll start with cutting the tea bag and removing the tea to create a small tube that we will lay on our plate. Make sure that it's very hollow for experiment to work. Okay, next, goggles. You need to know that the funnest one is the safe one. That's why we have the plate, we have the goggles, as this uh, experiment includes fire. Please make sure that you're supervising your students, or if you're doing it at home, please make sure that you're really making, paying attention what your child is doing in order to uh, keep them safe and yourself. Once your rocket is ready, you need to light it up. Be careful, light it up from the top, not the bottom. And voila, tea bag rocket. That was very cool, yeah? But this is a very interesting experience that you can do with your students. They can learn about thermal energy, about how molecules interact with each other. You can learn about how clouds form, about meteorology, and many more different phenomena that you can explain with this experiment. And since we don't like to waste, the loose tea leaves are very good compost for your house plants or in your school. Thank you very much for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed the experiment and you will try and use it with your students. And if you do, please let us know in the comment section. We really want to hear about it. So this is it. We'll be back in September for the Back to School campaign. Now tell us how you prepare for the new academic year in the comments. The most informative ones will be getting a Scientix notebook. 
So have a great summer and remember to protect your eyes with STEM glasses.